In this lecture, let's go ahead and learn how to create a React project. So in order to first create a React project, let's actually create a folder on our desktop, which is going to act as a container for all of our React projects. So I would simply go ahead, create a new folder and I'll call it as React P, which would stand for React project. So you could name your folder as anything. And once your folder is created, now we need to execute a certain set of commands in order to create a React application. Now, these set of commands could be executed inside your terminal inside the command prompt or those particular commands could also be executed inside the integrated terminal which comes in with Visual Studio Code. So for now, what I would do is that I would simply open up Visual Studio Code and open up this particular React P directory in VS Code. So simply open up VS Code and once Visual Studio Code is opened up, I would simply go ahead and open up the directory. So React P is the directory which we have just created. So you simply need to open this thing up, click on this option here. And once this directory is opened up, I could simply go ahead, go to terminal and create a new terminal here. So that would open up a terminal in Visual Studio Code, which will help us to execute certain commands here. Now our job here is to go ahead and create a particular React project. Now in order to create a React project, what we are going to do is that we are going to make use of a package called as create React app. So if you just open up your browser for a second here, and if you search for npm, and if you go to npmjs.com, here you will actually be able to find different node packages. And using npm, you could install those packages on your machine. So if you go ahead and search for a package called as create react app, as you can see, you will be able to find this package called as create react app. So if you click on this particular package, it will actually open up uh, the create react app package, which is right up over here. And what this package is, is that once you install this particular package, it will automatically create a react app for you. So using NPM, you first have to go ahead and install this package, which is the create react app package, and then use this particular package to create a react app. So that means you don't have to go ahead and set up or install react on your machine. Instead, this particular package does all of that for you. So now the question is how to use this package to create our react application. So the steps to do that is quite simple. So what we will be doing here is that we would be using NPX. So I would say NPX and NPX over here is the NPM package runner which is install when we install node. So you could also use NPM here, but the steps with NPM are a little bit different. So here we will go with NPX and we would say NPX create react app. And what NPX would do is that it would install the create react app for you and also create an react application for you as well. So now after specifying this command, you need to name your React project as something. So let's say I want to name my project as my project. So I would simply name that up over here. You could name this thing as anything, but I would be saying uh, my project here. So npx create react app my project hit enter. And what this will do is that it would start installing react for you. And after installing react, it will also create a project called as my project for you. So depending upon your internet speed, it would take some amount of time. So let that run. So as you can see, it's installing a bunch of dependencies. It's installing React, the React DOM, a React script, and some other packages as well. So as you can see on the left hand side, right inside this React P directory, a directory called as my project has been created and it has also created a bunch of files in here. So we are actually going to go through all the files once the entire project is set up. Okay, so once 
you get this particular text on your terminal that means react has now been successfully installed and it has successfully created your project and now what you could do is that you could actually go ahead and run your project so they even mention the steps which you need to take in order to start your project so first of all as your my project is created you need to go inside this particular my project directory so to enter that directory you need to type in cd that's going to be my project hit enter and once you enter this my project directory you need to now start your project by typing yarn start but we won't be using yarn for now we would simply be using npm so you could say npm start hit enter and what this will actually do is that it would run your react project on the local server so as you can see a tab on your browser would automatically be opened up and here we have it here we have our react project running on our local host server at port 3000 and if this does not run automatically what you simply have to do in that case is that you have to copy this particular url which you get here copy this url go to the browser and simply paste that url in and you should be able to have this project up and running so currently this is running on our local network on our local host server and if you want to stop the server from rendering your react applications you simply have to press ctrl c and that will actually stop your server so if you go back here now and hit refresh it would say that the site can't be reached and if you want to restart your server you simply have to execute the command npm start and that will again start up the server for you so now as you can see it will again open up the local host and now the react project would be up and running so that means we have successfully installed react we have successfully created a react project and we have successfully run it on our local host server now in the next lecture let's go ahead and try to understand all the files which are actually present inside this particular my project so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you